Orthographic Projection In this video, we will learn how to draw an orthographic projection of a given object. This is another example of orthographic projection. If you haven't watched my previous videos, the link for the playlist is provided in the description, or the i button. Consider this figure. Instructions are as follows. Draw the following views for the given isometric view. Front view looking from x direction. Top view. And. Side view. This given view of the object is called the isometric view. Here we can see the object drawn in a three-dimensional view. By looking at this view we have to draw a two-dimensional view of the object. Before drawing we need to draw the reference lines. Since there are no instructions are given for whether to draw using the first angle or third angle method, we will draw the orthographic view using the first angle method. In the first angle method, the front view of the object will be above the XY line and the top view will be below the XY line. The left hand side view of the object will be on the right hand side. That is here. In this example, the viewing direction is given from this side, therefore, whatever portion of the object is visible while looking from this side will be the front view of the object, and it will be drawn above the XY line. And whatever view is visible while looking from this side will be the right hand side view of the object, which will be drawn on the left hand side of the front view. And the top view of the object is always below the XY line in the first angle method. Let's start drawing. When we view the object from the direction X, this is how it looks. I will color the visible sides on the isometric view for your convenience. When we see the object from the front view, we will see this section of the object. Let's draw this section first. We can see the width of this section is 60 millimeters. This height is 40 millimeters. This height is 20 millimeters. This width will be 20 millimeters, since this width and this width are equal in length. This length will be 40 millimeters. Since the total width is 60 millimeters, and if we remove this 20 millimeters from it, we will have 40 millimeters. And this height is 20 millimeters. Let's draw this visible section of the front view. Take a drafter and draw a horizontal line of 60 millimeters. Draw a 40 millimeters vertical line from this endpoint. Next, draw a vertical line of 20 millimeters from this point. After this, draw a 20 millimeters horizontal line from this point. Next, draw a vertical line of 20 millimeters from this point. And at the end, join these two points with a horizontal line. Therefore, we got this section of the front view. Next, when we look from the front view, we can also see this section, which will look like this in the front view. This means, we also have to draw this section in the front view. The height of this section from this point is 20 millimeters. This width is 20 millimeters. Only these two dimensions are enough to construct this section in the front view. Take a drafter and draw a vertical line of 20 millimeters from this point. After this, draw a horizontal line of 20 millimeters from this endpoint. In the end, join these two points with an inclined line. This is the final required front view of the object. This figure represents this visible section. And this figure represents this extruded section of the object. This is the final front view of the object. Next, we will draw the top view of the object. When we see the object from the top, this is how it will look. There is a total of four different sections visible from the top view. Those are 1, 2, 3, and 4. The top view of this object is very simple to draw. We can see the total width of the object is 60 millimeters. And the total length is also 60 millimeters. After this, the length and breadth of this section 4 is 20 millimeters. Only these four dimensions are enough to draw the top view of the object. Let's start drawing the top view. Before drawing, we will first draw the reference lines from all corner points of the front view. Take a drafter and draw the 60 mm horizontal line and 60 mm vertical line and construct a square as shown. After this, we can see this line is 20 mm away from the edge, therefore mark a point at 20 mm distance from the edge. And draw a vertical line as shown. Next, we can see this line is 20 mm away from this horizontal line. 
Therefore, mark a point on this line at a 20 mm distance from the top and draw a horizontal line. This is the required top view of the object. This is how it will look from the top view. In the end, we will draw the side view of the object. When we see the object from the right hand side, this is how it will look. Before drawing, draw the reference lines from the front and top view of the object as shown. To draw the reference lines from the top view, draw an inclined line of 45 degrees. After this, draw the horizontal lines from the top view up to this incline line as shown. Next, draw the vertical lines from each of these points. These reference lines will help in drawing the right-hand side view of the object. Let's draw. When we view the object from the left-hand side, we will see this rectangle, whose width is 60 mm and height is 20 mm. Therefore, draw this rectangle. Take a drafter and draw a horizontal line of 60 mm. And a vertical line of 20 mm and construct a rectangle. Next, when we look from the right-hand side, we will see this portion which will look like another rectangle of base 20 mm and a height of 40 mm. Since the total height of the object is 60 mm, let's draw this rectangle above this existing rectangle. Take a drafter and draw a vertical line of 40 mm. After this, draw a horizontal line of 20 mm from this point and construct a rectangle. In the end, while looking from the right-hand side, we will also see this portion of the object which has a width of 40 mm and a height of 20 mm. Take a drafter and draw a vertical line of 20 mm from this point. And draw a horizontal line of 40 mm up to this vertical line. This is the final right-hand side view of the object. Important points to remember here are, the height of the front view and the height of the side views are always equal. This is because, when we go from the front view to the side view, the object turns 90 degrees about the x1 y1 axis as shown. Next, the width of the object in the front view is equal to the width of the object in the top view. Because, here also the object turns 90 degrees but along the xy line. I hope this video helped you in understanding how to draw the orthographic projection of a given object. If you like this video, click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, Click on the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications to get my latest videos.